My name is Tamara Fox, and for the past few months, I've had the absolute honor of working with Luma Legacy and developing the latest innovation in fashion tech and the next big thing in social wearables. Luma Legacy is revolutionizing the way that we document and share meaningful moments in our everyday lives. And in my time here, I've had an absolutely overwhelming response from friends, family, and even acquaintances reaching out to me asking how and how soon they'll be able to get their hands on a Luma Legacy bracelet. The bracelet is a platform that provides an intimate connection amongst friends, family, sororities, and other similar communities. And more personally, it can be used to collect and store memories in a space that truly values their sentiment. As an example, I became an aunt a few weeks ago, and for some reason, between my Facebook, two Instagrams, Twitter, and Snapchat, no platform truly felt appropriate to share this moment that was really surreal, private, and a really special moment in my life. And so here at Luma Legacy, we are absolutely thrilled to tell you about your solution. So without further ado, it is my absolute honor and pleasure to introduce our CEO, Carol Munoz, to tell you a little bit more about Luma Legacy and what we do. I'm Carol Munoz, and I am obsessed with sharing memories. And I am not the only one. There are one trillion photos being shared on social media every year. That's two billion selfies like this in an endless stream lacking privacy and devoid of intimacy. But here lies the problem. We still have very meaningful moments, and we're capturing them digitally. And without a place to put them, we are putting them on Instagram and all of these places that Tamara was saying. Back in the day, we used to have lockets. Women used to put their most special photos inside a locket for them to cherish. The closest thing we have to that today is the lock screens on our phone. In New York, I wanted to find out if anyone else felt the same way that I did about our digital files. And I interviewed over 600 women. I asked them, what would you save from a fire and why? Over and over and over, the answer was photos and jewelry. And it wasn't just any photo. It was your first dance as husband and wife. And it wasn't any piece of jewelry. It was your grandmother's pearls. So naturally, we saw a way to create a digital locket, but we quickly realized that life is a lot more like a charm bracelet. We go through stages, and we collect moments along the way. Each Luma Legacy charm has a unique scannable code in the back. You snap it, and you have a new digital space where you can upload photos from your trip to Mexico, photos that are fun for your friends to share, even mixtapes. For further customization, we have a Bluetooth module that allows you to have custom LED and haptic feedback. It's like a secret handshake between friends. Imagine a place for your child's first ABCs, or a place for me to upload photos of a trip to DR with my mom where I almost died in the back of this taxi, or the way that I first imagined I would use it as an heirloom filled with memories that mattered to me. That's me in the pink in an awesome pool where I grew up in Chile. Fo days like this didn't really last for me, because when I was nine years old, my family moved me to New York to have opportunities like this one today, pitching in front of all of you in front of an airplane. <laughs> Everyone has photos that mean something to them, and women love collecting trinkets to represent their experiences. We can see that with the massive charm bracelet market. With the biggest player being Pandora Jewelry, who made $2.5 billion last year alone. Go to Paris, buy an Eiffel Tower. Graduate from college, buy yourself a little hat. But Pandora Jewelry is getting an older generation. Somebody over 32, it has a more sophisticated vibe. We are going for a girl that is 15 to 24, she is experiencing a lot of firsts in her life. She probably just graduated high school, thinks the guy that she's with right now is going to be the love of her life forever, and she's about to have a lot more fun experiences. We see our competitive landscape being in fashion jewelry, memory sharing, and memory storing. Smart fashion jewelry is focused on alerts and healthcare, and we can all agree that that is not why we buy jewelry. 
Memory sharing apps are making our photos feel more special, but try gifting your wife an app and let me know how that goes. We still need a physical thing to be able to gift. Memory storing platforms are keeping our files safe, but they're also keeping them right next to our work files. Our memories are being treated like shit right now. We are going to be making money the same way that most charm bracelet companies make money. It's a razor razor blade model. The average Pandora customer finishes a bracelet once a year, with power customers finish starting a new bracelet every three months. We will also have a free so uh, base software and paid features, like a connection with Spotify to make mixtapes for this awesome trip you just took. Now is the right time for this kind of product. Social wearables are on the rise. The Snapchat generation can't get enough of their friends. Companies like Gemio and Jewelbots over here are smart friendship bracelets targeting tweens. We are going for somebody slightly older than that. The biggest companies in the world are investing in making our memories feel more tangible right now. Facebook created an app called Moments specifically for sharing photos that was number one in the App Store. And Google backed Bloom, a product focused on storytelling between grandparents and grandkids. Also, Snapchat made QR codes cool again, with a lot of people stealing them. And our target demographic is already used to scanning the back of a scanning a QR code to enter a new digital space. I myself come from a design background. I studied graphic design at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. I then stepped into the world of UI UX, where I made over 20 apps that are in the App Store today for companies like HBO, Lytro, and Fox. My co-founder Bridget. While she, I met her while she was getting her master's at NYU, and she had made a cape that changes colors with her mind. And I was just like blown away. It was EEG technology. <laughs> and after that, she stepped into the world. Of, uh, she worked for iBeam as the director of computational fashion, where she advised fashion brands on how to best integrate technology into their products. We have a software contractor, Eddie, an industrial design firm, Marama, an advisor, uh, Cassie, who's an MBA and a CPA, and two very opinionated interns in our target demographic that have given us their voice and opinions all summer long. We have raised over $150,000 so far with, um, from amazing partners. In our time at Highway 1, we went to Shenzhen, walked through the manufacturing floors, and really understood just how difficult manufacturing is. Here at Make in LA, we have completely redesigned our product, lowered the cost to make it, and most importantly, began a relationship with one of the world's most coveted retailers by the millennial market. In two days, I'm, lo I'm leaving for London to go work with Topshop. <laughs> yeah. Our team will be working with their designers to get better feedback on what the way our charms look, as well as their marketing team to grow our audience and their merchandising team to really understand how retail works. Go to the Grove, check out Topshop. They don't just work with anyone. When I first walked in, in 2008, it was my first time in Topshop. I saw a collaboration with Kate Moss. Today, those cool girls are Kendall and Kylie and Beyonce. We're opening up for pre-orders September, and we will be delivering uh, Q2 of 2017. We will be releasing additional charms as we go along. We already have two design collaborations uh, secured, and we will be partnering with one more before we launch. Q1 of 2018 will be when we deliver, where we pre open up for pre-orders for our Bluetooth module. We will have a strong charm collection of about 600 charms rotating at a time. Partnerships with celebrities to offer a unique portal to their audience. Taylor Swift talking to their, her audience in a really, really special, intimate way. Design partnerships, like Vera Wang designs a writer collection. We also will have brick and mortar locations and expand into the Chinese and Latin American market. My name is Carol Munoz. Luma Legacy is the future of storytelling. We will see young girls breaking up with their boyfriends because they didn't get one for their birthday. Those girls will become dedicated customers as they grow. Thank you very much.